A $1.5 billion deal has been struck. One of northern New England's largest broadband and business communications companies sold to Illinois-based Consolidated Communications. Regulatory approval could take six months. A Fairpoint communication spokesperson says for now, it's business as usual. As of now, there's no change to service rates or contracts. Customers will continue to receive the same quality support and care they've received in the past. It's been a rocky road for Fairpoint since it arrived in northern New England to take over some of Verizon's operations. IBEW represents about 500 of New Hampshire's nearly 900 Fairpoint employees. Our reaction is cautious optimism. Uh, we've all experienced what happened when Fairpoint came in during the sale of Verizon and that was devastating to the New Hampshire economy. The switchover from Verizon to Fairpoint was fraught with internet and phone service issues and complaints about how the company handled them. Fairpoint declared bankruptcy in 2009 and worked through a four-month strike in late 2014. Fairpoint can't say whether or not jobs will be lost in the merger, but workers say they'll be watching the regulatory process closely. We'll also look to political leaders in the state to truly understand what their intent is and how they're uh, intending to build and continue this network and uh, really provide for quality, state-of-the-art, 21st, communica 21st century communications in New Hampshire. Fairpoint announced over a hundred layoffs just a few weeks ago, but a company spokesperson tells me that had nothing to do with this sale. That was because of a drop in landline customers. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.